recording in three, <coughs> two, <coughs> wait, <that's> gross. <coughs> three, two, one. Good evening, weirdos and weirdettes. All oh, you f- nice, fun, wonderful, weird people out there. <laughs> Um, coming at you live at 9.41 at night. Um, I have a surprise for the episode. Oh, also, (laughs) welcome back, guys. Duh, I'm getting right into it, and I'm not even, like, introducing anything. Okay, so, if you're new, this is the Share Ship Podcast. If you're not, sit back, relax, take a load off. Have some good laughs with me. Um, I'm your host. Ist with the mostest. (laughs) Stole that from Beetlejuice. (laughs) It's great, right? Anyways. Uh, I'm your host, Macy. Sheer. Anyways, um. Let's see. So I have something new that I want to do on here as well. Kind of, like, a new thing, kind of not a new thing. It's something that, like, literally I forgot is something, and then I just found it again, and it just brought up, like, all these memories and stuff. Um, but before I get into that, we're gonna go into our favorite stuff and learning about the uh, weird stuff going on in this world, you know? Yeah, you know. Alrighty. Excuse me. In California, there was a police chase that came to an anticlimactic... Climatic? Climatic? Anticlimatic? Yes. Conclusion. Sorry, I have a hard time saying some words that I know I'm saying right, but they come out sounding weird. Anyways. Uh... uh, this week, um, when a suspect in an alleged car to have been stolen tried to turn himself in to only be met with an abundance of cops. Uh, I just, I don't know what goes through people's minds sometimes. It's, it's kind of hilarious, honestly, if you ask me. Like, what people do. Um, um, officer, yeah, the officer noticed that an alleged to have been stolen Kia in the downtown of LA area, um, a little bit before, you know, 10 p.m., whatever, and then the California Highway Patrol took over the chase, who had also saw the driver making his way to San Fernando Valley. Before returning to the downtown Los Angeles. Oh, that's what that meant. That's what that information meant. Yeah. Um, so, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why people... Like, what makes you sit there and think... Yes, I'm going to steal this car, and in the middle of it, I'm not saying it's right to steal cars, and you should keep stealing a car or whatever, but, you know, you're just like, yeah, in the middle of this chase, I'm just going to stop and turn myself in. Like, why would you have taken the car in the first place? That doesn't make any sense. Also, I'm eating food right now, too, because I'm hungry, so, sorry. Hear me snack lacking back here. Oh, yeah. And if you hear any other background noises, it is either my wonderful puppy dogs I have, or it's Bob's Burgers in the background, because as original people who listen to this know, I hate being in silence. Or that background noise. So, yeah. Mm. This one baffled me. Okay. A 
three year old McDonald's employee has died after being shot over an alleged argument about cold french fries. <clears throat> What? Someone shot someone over... Oh, and in the neck. Oh. Over cold french fries. Cold french fries, broskies. That is freaking crazy. Super crazy. Um, I, just, I don't know. It just that, like blows my mind honestly <sighs> sorry I'm looking at the thing that I want to talk about later and making sure it's like the right thing that I'm looking at um okay there's thing it oh <clears throat> there is content warning in this I don't know that's just what the article says that I have on here <laughs> Uh, or contain some footage that may find disturbing. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So, there was a multiple car crash um, in LA, too. Like, after, like, this m- man, like, weird guy had stolen a car and turned himself in. After he stole, like, after he stole a car and he wasn't going to sit there and think, oh, yeah. I'm just going to steal his car and just turn myself in because I'm bored. I just... Don't even try... Don't even steal the freaking car. Dummy. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. LA. Multiple uh, car crash. That then leads to multiple people being killed in explosive car crash. Um, and it was after the driver in a black Mercedes sped through a stoplight. People, if you're not going to make it, you're not going to make it. Okay? Uh, it happened Thursday afternoon of uh, last week. Yeah. That the officials had been dispatched to what they initially described as a multiple, like, you know, casualty accident. But, you know, come to find out that it had happened, turned into an explosion. Um, the Associated Press questioned the driver who survived the crash. What? What? And was hospitalized with severe injuries. I don't care that you have severe injuries, but you survived while killing multiple other people because your butthead self sped through a red light. For what reason? Like, mm, 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 mm. slammed into multiple other cars at the busy intersection after running a red light shortly after one. 30 p.m. local time in California. (sighs) I'm sorry, but like... I just don't understand. Like... uh, You people make me so mad sometimes. Mm -mm. Um, so... Last time I looked at this, too, like, it popped up with, like, a second, um, article about this, I think. Because in this one it says it was, it's under active investigation. But I think they, uh, finally came to it. Like, you know, a verdict. And obviously he's guilty, but I can't remember... Like, how much time this person got and all that. But, it still doesn't bring back the freaking people that he killed because he couldn't stop. He had to speed past the red light. Moron. Oh. (sighs) My 
gosh. Um, four people were hospitalized after an apparent lightning strike hit outside of the White House. Wow. They have critical injuries. It's crazy. Hmm. Um, an 18-year-old uh, Lollapalooza worker is accused of making a false shooting threat to get off work early. And they're a security guard worker. What? Why? Like, bro. I get that you're working and stuff. And work can suck. But making a false shooting threat after all this stuff with shootings and whatnot. Not cool. And you're 18 and you're at Lollapalooza. Shouldn't you be having fun? Like, I know... You're a security guard, you know, you gotta make sure, like, you're keeping an eye on everything. But you can have a vibe to the music, because I'm pretty sure some of the security guards I've seen in videos of concerts that I like and stuff like that, like, some of the security guards are just sitting there vibing, like, you know? Just don't be a dick. Don't be a dick and do this. It's so rude. Oh, yeah. This is old news, and I bet everyone's heard about it because, like, it's one of the latest things. But Brittany Grinner, you know, the basketball player that they have held over in Russia for a while, uh, is guilty on drug charges in that case and is sentenced to nine years. Like, the thing is, though, about this article. Is that she knew the rules. She knew the laws. She knew all this stuff. And still brought, you know, drugs over. You know, certain countries are not as lenient about, like, a certain drug, you know? It, It just, I don't know. I'm, I'm very, I know my opinion is very controversial on this, but, um, I kind of think, like, you know, like, she got her karma for doing that, you know? I don't think we need to, like, make any, like, crazy moves or anything, you know? She's gonna have to serve her time, you know? I know stuff over there isn't still good, you know? But we we can't just go storming into stuff without thinking about it, okay? Also, um, I'm very pro this. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if you get offended, you know. I apologize. It's just, it's my opinion. You know? And you're entitled to your opinion. Okay? Okay. Um, so the Kansas voter rejected a proposed constitutional amendment that would have put the state abortion access to risks. So, vote no, pass through. So, on August 2nd, it's just so great. It just, or on August 3rd, no, it'd be August 2nd, they got all this stuff in. I want to thank everyone who voted, you know, protecting... The stuff you believe in, and this, that, and other, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. I'm super excited about this. So, I had just watched the first movie of this, this year. It's been out for a while. The Joker is getting a sequel for Joker 2, obviously, because that cliffhanger, bro. Like how it ended. Um, they have a release date and it'll be October fourth of next year. Exciting. 
I'm super excited. I'm ready to see it. Um, California and Illinois uh, declare a state of emergency in response with the mo- monkeypox outbreak. Mm. Oh, this one. <laughs> this this article peeved me off really bad. It, it fucking pissed me off, bro. <clears throat> And also, like, what the the jury did, too. Like, <sighs> whatever. Anyways, a jury finds a pharmacist didn't discriminate when he denied a patient morning after pill. I'm sorry. So... You know, shit happens. Accidents happen. You know. You're literally going to deny this woman a morning after pill. That is... Like... It's available for people to buy. Everywhere, you know? So why are you denying this person to buy it? I mean, yes, hopefully this person went to a different store and bought it from a different store but the fact that the jury's like yeah that's not discriminant you're denying someone's right to take care of their body with the medicine that you sell that's not illegal and literally in it it like i like looked up the stuff that, that like you know the directions and stuff for it like, just to, like, make sure, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. You are literally supposed to take it within 72 hours of having, um, <sighs> relations. I will say that. <laughs> I will say that. Um... So, 72 hours, obviously there's nothing there. There's nothing for an egg to form or anything, you know? It just really peeves me off. Because it's not it's not an illegal drug. It's three days after you have relations. Like, it's not going to hurt anything. Freaking jack wagons. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I'm entitled to my opinion. You are entitled to your opinion. You know? <sighs> I just... <laughs> okay. A... Oh, this one also kind of, like, got me, too. Because I was like, oh, this biatch. Okay. A grand jury has declined to indict. Indict? Why is that supposed to be induct? I think it's indict. Whatever. Carol Bryant Dunham for her involvement with the in the abduction and murder of Emmett Till. So she's not being charged by the grand jury at all. I hope this woman lives out the rest of her day having this haunting feeling and knowing what she did to this poor man. Like, ugh. I just, I don't know. Mm. She's an old lady. Oh, well, whatever. Like, I, sorry, I'm just really irritated about this because she lied when she straight up told the truth about her lying about all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Also, um, on to the next thing. South Park creators describe Trump deep fake movie they almost made before the pandemic hit. Or, yeah. 
so crazy. Okay. Oh, yeah. This caught me, too. A lot of California stuff in this stuff today. Did not see much about Florida. So. Okay. So this California woman is arrested after her husband caught her on a video allegedly using Drano to poison his drinks. I get marriage can be hard. Marriage isn't for everyone. Divorce is an option. If you don't like divorce, that sucks. But you're really dumb if you're going to try to pour Drano in someone's drink and you have security cameras around your house that point to certain areas that you're in and you know that they're there and you still try to commit it anyways? Well, obviously he didn't marry you for your brains. Sorry. Okay, so on to this new thing that... I would like to talk about, sorry, um, clicky clack of my fingers, typing in stuff. Um, I want to talk about, like, uh, some cryptoid stuff, like, or cryptid, cryptid, oh, it's cryptid, I'm so dumb sometimes, anyways, cryptid stuff, like, there's weird things going around the world, and what cryptid would be is, like, um, for example, Chupacabra, uh, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monsters, Mothman. Um, I don't know why, but like <laughs> Mothman's one of my favorite ones, mostly because about the Mothman videos. They're great. Um, it's just <laughs> super, it's just super cute. Like, I know it's a creepy like thing and whatever. But, like, if you watch some of, like, the Mothman meme memes uh, on TikToks and stuff, <clears throat> it's pretty funny. And, like, everyone who believes in, like, Mothman, they're, like, in there, dude. They're, like, hardcore about it. And I'm not saying, like, there's not a possibility and, you know, I don't know. Weird things happen in the world all the time. Um, I'm just trying to find some good stories about them, though. Like, I found this one about, uh, Ul, or it's called the Othol, and is a winged cryptid, crypt, cryptid, cryptid, cryptid. I fucking can't, I don't know, I can't read. Anyways, <clears throat> it is portrayed, like, the people have portrayed this creature as, like, a giant bat. While others have claimed it to be, like, a flying primate. Um, the name... That, the name that I gave you, the first one, uh, comes from a loud, distinct cry. Like an, ow. I don't know why I made that sound. But, you know, I'm just giving you better info about it, okay? Um, I want to do more of these. I find these very interesting to me. You yeah, know, there's a lot of them. So, um... They are said to be 10 feet high. The wingspan is supposed to be 28 feet. So, I think that's 3 meters high, if I'm using my stuff, like my math correctly. And it's 8.5 meters on the wingspan for all you people who use the metrics instead of what we use over here. Um, 
It's said to live in the deepest parts of the jungles of Java. I want to say Java because it's J-A-V-A, like the Java chips, you know? Uh, and also can be found across uh, most of Indo Indonesia. Um, they say that this, uh, cryptide, cryptide or cryptid, is it, oh my god, you know, I'm just gonna call it, uh, a crypt, I don't know, like, you know, Tales from the Crypt, or like the Crypt Keeper, you know, whatever. Um, there's a subspecies of it, and... The nearby islands of New Guinea, G U I N E A, in the form of a ropen, ropen, R O P E N, yeah. So this animal has. A long snout and large wingspan and a long thin crest. And the owl has a distinct face that has features of both a chimpan like of chimpanzees and bats. Um large dark eyes, um <clears throat> red skinned wings. So, like, when they open up their wingspan, the skin in between, in between there, in the wing part, is, like, red. Um, large claws on its forearms. Ew. Wait, hold on. Forearms? Huh, okay. And covered in gray fur. Um, I already... Oh, so, 18 to 28 feet on the wingspan. That's, it is 3 to 4.5 times the size of the largest bat known to man. And that would be the flying fox. Although, you know... It mainly eats local... Oh, this must be the flying fox. Oh, no. This is that owl. It mainly eats local fauna. F-U... Or F-A-U-N-A. -A. Um, such as large fish. Okay, so it's a large fish. It will... Opportunic... Tunic... It is lictic. Ill. Sorry, I'm trying to like read these fucking big ass words. Anyways, it'll occasionally attack humans at times. Uh, because the creature is extremely territorial and an opportunist. Oh, okay. So, meaning it will attack larger prey when the conditions are present to itself. Huh. Well, that's pretty crazy. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do more of this. Um, the artwork to this stuff is pretty crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe, should I do another one, maybe? Hmm. I mean, because we already have we have Bigfoot. We already know about him, you know. I don't know. Like, I want to do, like, some cool stuff. Like, some of the stuff, like, they kind of, like, uh, put down, like, a jackalope as one of the um, crypt cryptides on here.
And, like, I know, like, jackalopes are, like, you know, strange or whatever, you know? But I don't think it's as, like, crazy as some of this stuff. Like, <sighs> there's, like, one about the Jersey Devil. I can do as well if you guys like these. Um, Jersey Devil and... Was the other one? Sorry. Oh, the Elden Field monster. This one I read about today too. It was crazy. Um, you know. I don't know. I just uh, if if you guys want me to read more about this stuff, I will definitely look into it. You know. And whatever. I enjoy knowing more about the weird and unusual things in this world. And I do think that is one weird and unusual one. Um, if I do do this again, um, I'm probably going to do about uh, Mothman. I love Mothman. <laughs> I just, I find, I just find it so, like, funny and, like, you know weird and interesting that there's a mothman or there could be a mothman you know they have a statue also uh where this takes place it's pretty cool anyways i'm not gonna get more into that because um you know we can save that for another time anyways i am super honored that you guys joined me here tonight (sighs) just brings tears to my eyes <laughs> anyways i am very thankful for you joining back in here on this wonderful podcast that i have um if you want to know more about what's going down and what's happening um uh, please <sighs> sorry nose is dry um go to twitter and go follow B Card Entertainment at B Card YT. They give you all the updates and all that snazzy jazz stuff about what we're doing. Uh, it is me and my friends. We have a couple of different podcasts through this um, Twitter account, but it gives you updates on like episodes and what we're going to be talking about or what we're going to be doing, you know, stuff like that. We also. Um, just put up uh, a website it's called b-cardentertainment.com you know we try to post blogs and stuff on there that's why I'm asking if you want me to talk about these cryptids on here or if I should do blogs about them you know just let me know anyways thank you again for joining me uh, today on the Sure Shit Podcast. Um, I hope you guys make good, good, smart decisions on the weekend. You know, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, you know. Oof, the summer is getting to people. There are severe weather stuff around, too. Anyways, um, thank you again. I have been Macy Sheer. Um, peace out, Girl Scout.